Got the silicone on, the impeller is just sitting there, ready to put the cover back on. Hey guys, welcome back to Mac Farms. We gotta work on our manure spreader. It's a noon 3000 gallon uh, liquid spreader. And the impeller on it, I believe, is worn out. It doesn't throw the manure like it should. So we got a brand new impeller uh, from Green Diamond. They're the dealer for these spreaders. So we're gonna put that on. Uh, we got that for a couple of reasons. First reason being, of course, we think that's wore out, wore out in air, so it's not throwing the manure like it should. Second reason is this here plate goes on over the shaft and it's got a seal in it. And we've replaced the seal in them in that spreader a few times now. But uh, it just doesn't hold up because the shaft itself on the spreader has grooves wore in it. Um, so there's also a bearing in there, I th think. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it's just a bushing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's just a bushing, I guess. We'll replace this uh, whole assembly, and that should fix it. So here's the spreader. i got to take this plate off, looks like. All these bolts around there. Not sure what else has to come off. This here looks suspect. Not sure. Not sure how that works. It's welded there. Take this cylinder off, I might be able to just leave that on. Alright, here's the old impeller next to the new one. A little bit different, so, uh, this one here has some kind of a backing plate attached to it. Uh, Metal seems thinner on it, but I don't know if that's just from where. Even down at the base, feeling it with my hands, it definitely seems thinner than the old one. But uh, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of wear on it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this would make the difference that it wouldn't spread that far or what. But uh, anyway, we have to replace it anyway because of the shaft. So. I can show you guys that. You can see the grooves were in the shaft. And the new shaft got a collar on it that's going to have to come off. Got the silicone on, the impeller is just sitting there, ready to put the cover back on and bolt it back up. Then I gotta put the little plate with the seal on it back on the impeller shaft. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, I got that cover back on the manure spreader yesterday. Um, I just have to button up, there's bearings that go um, on the outside of it and stuff. So I have to deal with that now. And I didn't take it apart that far. Um, Dad actually did that and he's not here, so I have no real idea how it's supposed to go back together. I'll have to kind of wing it, I guess. So we'll check that out here. Just trying to figure it out here. It looks like there's two pillow block bearings that go on it separated by this, um, this spacer. And of course there's a flange bearing thing with the seals on it that goes against the house.
parts on there. The only one I wasn't too sure about was this here collar here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go on this side or the other side. The other side it runs right on these splines, so I kind of I kind of don't think it goes on that side, but if it does, it's not it wouldn't take much to flip it around. I'm just going to take these two bolts out here, and you can pull that pillow block off, and then just switch the collar around. But I think it's all right where it's at. But I didn't take it apart. Dad did. Um, you can look at it when it gets home, and see if it's all right or not. But uh, everything seems to be all right on it. It turns, so that's good. And uh, yeah, all that's left now is put the PTO shaft back on it, which is nothing much to that. And she should be good to go.